A simple phone. It seems nowadays everybody has one. People use to communicate, to play games, to send files, receive, to do all kinds of stuff. But imagine a time when nobody knew about telephones. Let me tell you the story of the man who was the first one to recognize it as an important tool. Not the man who invented the telephone, but the one who made it public. He was a Brazilian Emperor Dom Pedro II. Dom Pedro II was a very popular person in America. He used to travel to the United States to be away from the court in Brazil and feel like a normal person. In America, he was common folk, even though the local authorities, the press, the paparazzi at the time wouldn't leave him alone. And that's what happened when he went to the Centennial Exposition in Philadelphia, they followed him. Alexander Graham Bell was trying to present to the judges his invention, the telephone, but nobody would give him attention. When Dom Pedro II was walking on the fair and recognized Alexander Graham Bell, he approached him. Ah, Professor Bell, uh, I am delighted to see you again. Have you invented something? Yes. This is it an apparatus for talking over a telegraph wire? Well then, we must see that without fail. Graham Bell gave him a demonstration. There, Your Majesty. Will you please hold this up to your ear? Hold it perfectly straight, up and down. And I shall go to the other end of this wire and talk to you. He read parts of Hamlet from William Shakespeare. This thought! That was enough. Everybody was so amazed by this demonstration that everybody recognized the genius of Alexander Graham Bell. It does it is remarkable! So Graham Bell transmitted his voice. I congratulate you most heartily. This invention of yours, Mr. Bell, will bring the countries of the world nearer to each other. It is the most wonderful thing I've seen in America. And it didn't stop there. A visionary, Don Pedro II, bought the invention and the first five cities in the world to have the telephone installed, four were in Brazil. We are going now for a train ride to the interior of Sao Paulo in Brazil, where the first telephones were installed in the coffee farms so they could communicate with the capital, Sao Paulo. And that's when the world starts to use, for the first time, in a commercial way, in a practical way, the telephone. This is a very short train ride, but take us back 200 years. This is a telephone museum in a small train station on the way to the coffee farms. Here, the guide is demonstrating how to connect the coffee farm to the central in Brazil using those pins. Nowadays, it's so much easier. So think about that. If you are watching this on your smartphone, or you're going to use your phone later to order a pizza or talk to a loved one, that's due to a man who recognized it as an important tool for mankind. That's Dom Pedro II, Emperor of Brazil. Otherwise, you could still be communicating by smoke signals or drums. See you next time, please subscribe and see you next week in This is Brazil. いや、ベルさんじゃないですか。ドンペドロ。こんなところでまた会えるとは奇遇ですね。それでは始めます。では隣の部屋へ。うん。これはまた一方からだけしか話せませんので、隣のギャラリーで待機している皇帝へ。こ